And I remember doing interviews, and there's a, there are interview levels at C-suite level mm. that really drain, mm. especially when you have to, your CV has to be in a certain way, and then you have to do psychometric tests. Mm. I remember doing this interview for a very high level job, mm. and they took four months to do, and you know, it's interviews on Zoom, and so that's the time Wanderlust, the community diaries, mm. had just gotten the grant from Facebook. Mm-hmm. So I told myself, what if all this energy that you've been giving to other people, you can put it into your own bi- businesses? Mm. Yeah, and remember, I used to tell myself I'm a very good employee and mm-hmm. I'm a bad entrepreneur. Mm. And I said, okay, let me take the leap of faith. Plunging. And plunging, and I'm mm. telling you, my goodness, mm. it's crazy. <laughs> but I've had to learn so much, so much on business. And, and you to... did. You decided that you're going to. Yes, I decided. In fact, after that, now I got the a job offer, and I turned it down. Oh. Yes, it's that. I was that. See, I told you, I, oh, wow. I, I, I give leeway, and then when I close the door, I'm gone. Oh wow. So I, I closed. I even signed out of all those job, job. Um, notification thing yes yeah. i signed out of them linkedin what i even removed my i'm open for opportunity yeah and they announced that i have resigned and i'm doing my just so that i can be kept accountable by the world yeah so that's where i am now wow that was in my last working day was november 30th of 20 2021 2021 yeah mm. and you decided that this I, said, I I'm, have I'm done. I have built this professional yeah. um, brand, yeah. but now moving from this into entrepreneurship, s- into serial entrepreneurship, yeah. And 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 so, what what did you start off as then? So I looked at what I have. Mm-hmm. I've been doing a couple of them right. in the background, but because they've not, I've not given them my due attention. Mm-hmm. They have not. One has been Moving. an ongoing concern, okay. just because there's someone else running it. That's mm-hmm. the House Girl Bureau. That's uh, Nyarai. Nyarai. Yeah, Nyarai means homo, humility. Oh, nice. In in, uh, I think it's Namib. It's Botswana or something. Humility. Of, yeah, humility. Uh-huh. In fact, uh-huh. my my page is always full of uh, people from, is it Namibia or Botswana? One of those two. Ah, because they can identify. They, in fact, they think it's a person because the picture is a woman. Yeah. <laughs> One of the flyers. It's a flyer with a woman there. So I think, I don't know, people assume that's a, someone's profile. Mm-hmm. So they write to me in, in their language. Mm-hmm. So that has, uh, I've been running that with my house girl mm-hmm. uh, for five years now. So you've had this house girl for that long? 11 years. Wow. She's yeah. literally six, raised your Yeah, because uh, we started it when the kids went to school. Because mm. then she said, you know, now I have time. What can we do? Mm. So we looked at various options mm. and then we decided mm. we are going to do that. She's going to do that. And me, I'm the marketer. Mm. And uh, we've been doing, we used to do it from my house. Mm. My house was, uh, we, we were staying in a townhouse. So it had uh, one floor. Mm. And we, you know, d- downstairs would be interviews and we, and women coming and employers and my kids were so fed up. So when you moved and, and the, the business moved to its own office, mm. I didn't know how much it had affected them because, you know. The kids. Yeah. Mm. So they were so excited. They mm. said, no more aunties coming to our house. Mm. <laughs> they can't even watch TV. What oh, not? Yeah. Yeah, so mm. so that's growing. Yeah, the sacrifices that uh, children go through. Yeah. Just for so this one, it, it as you're saying, it had been on for a while. Mm. It's just that obviously because you are a busy professional lady, yeah. this wasn't receiving due attention. Yeah, full like attention. I, I didn't, I didn't. There's also a restriction in space. Yeah. And uh, time from myself. Mm. So now we are putting in structures. Now I'm putting in proper structures for running it. As a, even I opened an account the other day. Mm. It was a mattress thing. At the end of the day, we split the cash. Mm. I hope Kiara is not listening. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, 
Yeah. So, so yeah. now we have proper structures so the, paying taxes. So who trains? You, you train them? We or? don't train. Mm-hmm. So we do more of mix and match. Mm-hmm. We do more of uh, um, chemistry. We use a lot of, like, what, what are you really looking for? Because mm. I believe even if I were to train, for mm. those who are green, for mm. those who are very green, they'd come to our place mm. and, and stay with us a couple of days. Mm. But someone else who's worked somewhere else, mm. I don't see why you need to train again. Mm. Mm. But also, you, you like your shirts ironed in a certain mm. way. You like mm. your belly. So you'll still train. Even yeah. a trained person, you'll still train. Yeah, yeah. And when you train, it means my costs go up, so yeah. I charge you more. Yeah. And Kenyans are very price sensitive. Mm. But we're trying to look at a model where there'll be those who'll be trained because there are some people who want proper, you know, with certification mm. and they'll pay for it. Mm. So maybe that's the model I'm trying to see, mm. whether I can have a few mm. who have that. So we do house girls, we do farm hands, mm. drivers, mm. yeah. Mm. Just basic help, yeah? Yeah, domestic care. Mm. So that's one. And mm-hmm. we should be having an app launched mm. soon. Mm delayed but it's supposed to be launched this month right because we want now to take it digital you mm. check in mm. put a check out and then put an appointment mm. so that's that's Nyarai that's been done Nyarai. okay um, then I have Beyond the Cephoscope which right. I formed with another doctor and a colleague mm-hmm. and a friend three mm-hmm. of us mm-hmm. and that is um, it gives us a different approach to addressing uh, me- resilience and well-being of the doctor mm-hmm. the doctor here is loosely translated to dentists medical doctors and pharmacists right because i have seen it in our profession mm-hmm. i've seen you see all these experiences i've given you mm. in terms of training public speaking mm. cvs preparation for interviews like i've done an e- coaching by an executive coach mm. and she transformed the way i see things eh? mm. Um, so those are opportunities that many medics don't go through, mm. but the job market has really changed. Mm. Many of them are not being employed automatically the way we are. Uh, many of them are at crossroads. Do I still continue with clinical work? Do I pursue something else? So we want to give them those those platforms and, and uh, tools mm. to navigate those conversations. Mm. Uh, many of them are also struggling financially, mm. mostly because of poor investment choices. Remember I told you, I used to, I used all my money in uh, undergraduate and never saved at all. Yeah. Uh, many of them have also, are owed money by mm. insurance companies. Mm. So they, they, there are many who are struggling financially, mm. even career. Mm. Um, so we're bringing in a course that's going to give them, the, equip them with the tools mm. on how to navigate careers, mm-hmm. how to navigate um basically getting unstuck mm, mm, or mm. going to the next level. Mm. And then the last one is on mental health. Mm. And mental health here, I see quite a number of my colleagues abusing drugs, abusing mm. alcohol, mm. abusing prescription drugs. People mm. inject themselves with theater drugs, mm. and it's, um, uh, sedatives and mm. whatnot. Mm. Uh, people, you've seen a doctor killing himself and his children. Mm. So there's a lot of um, depression, there are, there are quite a number of mental health conditions mm. and there are others is just pressure. Mm. So how do we help them navigate that with the professional counseling? Yeah. Because they don't say I need help mm. because you're trained to be a small God. Mm. So a small God cannot get sick. Yeah. And remember I told you even when I was admitted, mm. I knew it's not, it's not the pressure of the divorce mm. or the money issues. Mm. I knew I'm sick because mm. I have a fever anyway. Mm. How can I be... Uh, how can it be psychosomatic? So that is how. So that's that's the other company we're doing. The second one, yeah. Mm. Mm. Then the 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 the, the one at the front is Wanderlust, mm-hmm. which is a travel platform. Mm. We are not a tour agent. Mm. <laughs> we are not a travel agent either, mm. and we are not a destination. We are just a platform bringing conversations mm. of travelers, mm. which started as a joke because I felt claustrophobic. Mm. During COVID. During COVID. And mm-hmm. said, ah, let me reminisce on my travels mm. and formed a group. And mm. then the group has become a company. Mm. So that's what um, we are looking at, a community that engages in sustainable travel and tourism. Mm-hmm. And um, that is what it's picked on. So we got an, a, grant. a grant from Facebook mm-hmm. that's helped us structure 
mm. helped me because it's a team of one <laughs> helped me structure it mm. better it's mm. still go- ongoing it's mm. an eight month thing mm. and also now i have a focus to look out for partnerships mm-hmm. and the partners are coming mm. but the money is yet to come so mm. i'm hoping <laughs> whoever is listening mm. to bring money now mm. Mm. <laughs> but the partnerships the goodwill yeah. the fact that we've turned around um Sometimes you're told we are bigger than Magical Kenya because mm. we bring the real conversations. Mm. It's not mm. um it's it's not it's marketing. Really yeah, it is you actually around. went. Yeah. Yes, and yeah. here is a picture of you going. Mm. Yeah, you mm. Yeah, like the other day there's a place I went to I think December mm-hmm. and the pictures online mm. had white sandy beaches. Mm. But the but it the is ground, normal, <laughs> normal is, sand because yeah. everyone was like, "Oh, go and enjoy." It is like Diani, ni, 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 ni. Yeah. I took a photo for them and said, "This on the ground, you arrive." Yeah, forget about white sandy beaches. <laughs> <laughs> so those are the conversations. But we want to 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 leverage or to anchor our conversations around sustainability. Mm.